Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Legend with me, Bring It On. So I went back around the Commoner District off camera and I found a chest that I missed right here. Got a steel spear and unlocked two new classes. So the Landschnecht and the Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor. Very few understand human. We'll wait for that to reset. Skill S plus. That's the first S plus growth that we've seen. Very few understand the human body as well as a plague doctor. These practitioners have sworn no oath and are capable of both shutting down every system in the body as equal as they are capable of bringing it back from the brink of death. This focus on the bodies of others has caused many to turn a blind eye to their own. While excelling in healing and bodily alchemy, their personal offensive and defensive capabilities are rather limited. And lance necked. Soldiers who live and die by the spear, their abilities... Good strength growth. Their abilities are formed by a lifetime of battle and marching exposed to the elements. As such, they are the fastest wearers of heavy armor, and a range of their techniques are focused on restricting the mobility and offensive capabilities of others. Having relied mostly on the spears of the brave men and women next to them for protection, their personal defensive capabilities are rather lacking. I want to see if our bestiary has been or updated. It has. Wild dog. Former pets long abandoned in the fog, now turn feral in their daily struggle for survival. The fog has different effects on creatures of non-human physiology. While not having the same deadly effects, the aspect that invokes madness and rabid behavior nevertheless persists. There seems to be no point of return for those, these poor creatures, and putting them down seems to be the greatest mercy they can receive. And then cultist light. Common Memphistian patrolling the city. In the hierarchy, they represent the color white, blank, and mundane. Nevertheless, this blank slate also, or state also represents potential that once discovered by a higher member could be the key that leads to ascension. Of those who have no notion of the true nature of alchemy perceive and worship it as a higher power, the Mephisto being the sole entity that mastered it. Common tasks entrusted to them is the gathering of the tribe of blood, tithe of blood, where citizens of the city are harvested for blood. And the cultist hound. Hounds kept by the cultists as excellent tools in their constant pursuit of blood in the city of Grant. The muzzles have been fitted with special antidote injectors that ward off enough of the fog's ill effects on these creatures. Uh, the dose remains low, however, as the aggression it as the aggression in evokes is still appreciated. It. It's a typo there. Alright. Alright, I need to change a class on Martin. Because he has nothing he can master with any of these. Well, maybe the spear. No. Yeah, let's change his class. Um. I do the duelist. We didn't actually get the rapier off that one guy. Like I thought we did. Actually, the guy at the end of this road here. Because when I said take his equipment, I thought we got the rapier off of him. But we we only got his clothes, I think. So anyway, let's change his class to... I guess the rogue as well. You get proficiency. Items are more effective when used. Learn from Syncadia. I don't see the bar there. Has he already mastered this? Let me change his class real fast to Lanschnecht. No, he's not mastered that. So let's do that first. Let's change him to the rogue. Give him rock throw and first aid. And how's he doing? Alright, so he needs a knife to master pocket sand, so when I'm done mastering uh, Venom Sting, we'll sw change classes and give uh, him a knife so he can master pocket sand. Alright, let's go to the Merchant's Guild and proceed with the main story. We're not in combat. This keeps happening when I come over here. It's gotta be bugged out, right? What is this? Super weird. Alright. To the Merchant Guild. Takes us to the Commoner District. Why, hello there. Stumbled into hell, have we? 
If you're ever in need of medical supplies or other tools, come visit me. Providing aid and relief in these trying times is about all I can do these days. Been aching to do some alchemy again. <laughs> what do you require, friend of the claw? Let's see, let's say now and some other consumables. Philosopher's Stone, Jennifer, stuff that we've all we've already run across. Let's talk. Besides potions, I tend to what little herbs we have here at the guild. Lot of it goes to bribing the Mephistians. Until we get a decent fighting force, paying them off with supplies is our best course of action. The robed freaks always carry a supply of antidote on them. Most of what we give them must go to the production of that stuff. Colt has some skilled alchemists in their upper ranks being able to reproduce Mephisto's antidote. As for the lower ranks, from what little I've spoken with them, they seem to revere alchemy as something more than what it is. Dumb as bricks, all of them. What do you require? friend of the claw when you're out there fighting for us ever notice your prowess in battle improve more quickly when using bodily alchemy it's no coincidence destabilizing one's humors and forcing that weakness into damage causes many properties of the body to be expelled the body acknowledges what has harmed them, and the released essence makes its way to the aggressor. By absorbing these essences, your own body strengthens. If you wish to improve quickly, just keep catalyzing your foes in battle. Sounds like a load of baloney to me. There's many things we don't know yet about bodily alchemy. Once, I've heard tales that something as elusive and abstract as luck may be forced out of one's body through catalyzing albedo and citronitis. What do you require? Besides potions, the... And what do you require? Keep the wind. Or you talk to him about the potions and the, the cults. What do we got over here? Oh, fresh meat for the Gilded Claw? About time we got some new people. Most prefer cowering in their houses, hiding from the cult instead of fighting back. My name's Karen. I'm in charge of recruitment for our little resistance. Not that there's been much work lately. Most civilians aren't interested, and neither are the mercenaries that come into the city, despite Johan's best efforts. If our resistance can show some actual, well... Resistance against the cultists? We might inspire folks to pick up arms and fight alongside us. Traveling in large groups to the city isn't the most efficient thing. Lucky for you, I can help with that. Until you need them, anyone willing to join the effort will be whipped into proper fighting shape by a... me personally. Stay on the lookout for potential recruits in the city. Show them a bit of kindness and I'm certain they'll repay you with their loyalty. What can I help you with? Manage party. I would like to get this rapier off of him. I guess like that. So is it now in our inventory? It sure is. So it teaches stomach punch. Okay. Well, I guess we can keep him on that for now then. Works for me. Does she have anything else to say? What can I help you with? Don't no. be a stranger. All right. New arrivals to the city. Well, well. Look at you all. Sight for sore eyes. Weapons and armor kept in fine condition. Seen their fair share of wear and tear and rust, of course. 
to be used as their purpose, after all. But you let them fulfill it with dignity. Pah! Babbling like a foolish child of some attire. I'm Oliver, Master of Arms for the Gilded Claw. If you're in need of equipment, speak to me. Stock is limited at the moment. Not much to find with the court about. What can I do for you? Look at the shop. Oh, nothing we haven't seen yet. Uh, quest. Good steel for pistols and rifles is hard to come by nowadays. Next best thing would be a crossbow. But I'm all out of string. Our contact spotted a barrel of string sitting by the harbor district. Didn't want to risk getting cornered by the court, so they left me there. If you retrieve these for me, I can provide you and the Gilded Claw with a steady stream of ranged weaponry. The Harbor District can be reached from the Commoner District. Just keep heading north, then head east to reach the harbor. He said east. The hit blatantly says west. What can I do for <laughs> okay. you? I don't mind uh, if the dialogue doesn't match up with the voice acting. Or the text doesn't match up with the voice acting. But if it's complete opposites, that's a, <laughs> that's a little... Little um, little much. Harbor District. What can I do for you? The over million coin still holds value in this city. Even in the deepest crisis, humans find solace in currency. Perhaps they hope for one day when the city's restored, they've got the coin to rebuild. I will buy any equipment you no longer require for honest pay. Profit usually goes for bribing the Fistians for some extra food and antidote. What can I do for you? The currency of Grant has a wonderful story behind it. These coins are made of cinnabar crystals. The stuff you can refine into mercury, which is used in just about any kind of alchemy known to man. Didn't mean to worry you there. It's been treated by alchemists so it's no longer toxic. Difficult process, that is. A well-guarded secret of our banks. Not only will it dissuade counterfeiters, should someone try to discover gold transmission, they'd need a lot of mercury to do it. The value of our coin would soar, while the rest of the world would see their gold values plummet. <laughs> what can I do for you? I don't know if they actually associated mercury with toxicity or with mercury poisoning uh, in the 1600s. Because they used it for mining. I mean, obviously, they didn't care much for the miners' health or well-being, especially in South America, in Potosi, for instance. Hmm. The over million coins still. I will buy. What can I do? I'm going to talk to him about that. Can I go in here? I cannot. Another bloodstained nail. Oh, look, a dog. That's not going to stop, I don't think. Let's go up here. All right, this must be Johan. Martin managed to convince you to at least come talk to me. Most intriguing. Many before you have skipped along further into the city. Never to return. I'm Johan, leader of the Gilded Claw. I presume you're aware of our cultist problem. We try our best to keep people away from them. But struggle deeply. Sometimes we're forced to bargain with the Mephistians. And to add salt to the wound, some survivors interpret this as collaboration. If only they knew the risk we put ourselves at. Makes us question why we're even doing this. It's mostly low-ranking cultists who are willing to take the occasional bribe. Some will just leave us be. Others have supplied us with some antidote in exchange for botanicals or vermilion. Now, enough about the cult. I'll be blunt. We need your help. Your prowess in battle is exactly what we need to liberate this city. In return, we'll support you best we can. We know this city better than anyone else. 
So what will it be? Will you work alongside us? I mean, don't I have to to proceed with the main quest? Well, no, I guess not. There's two different main quests here. Oh, uh, yeah, well... Words well. carry little weight nowadays, so speak with actions. I intend to use your muscle for an important mission. One I will explain in steps to ensure it doesn't reach the ears of the cult. Best way to keep civilians alive is getting them out of the city. Once we've stopped the source of the fog, speed is of the essence. The Mephistians will be on high alert as soon as we succeed, but won't expect us to escape by water. We found a ship large enough to smuggle everyone out. Has enough speed to prevent the cult from catching it. We managed to hide it in the fog over the water between the harbor and the shipyard districts. Problem is, ship that size is too great to get past the golden chain. Never heard of it. It's a barrier blocking the entrance and exit of the harbor. It's been raised ever since our neighboring nations declared war. The chain is lifted between two towers. One at the harbor district, one across the bridge at the shipyard district. The cult seems to have invested some people in maintaining it. We noticed some higher activity near the harbor district tower. Access to this tower has been locked off as a safety measure. Take this key. Unlock the path and trigger the mechanism in the tower. All right, seems pretty straightforward. The mechanism of the harbor towers is quite elaborate. Only when both have been triggered does the chain lower. The two people who had access to this mechanism were never allowed to know each other's identity to prevent any betrayals during wartime. Okay, well, we have to go to the harbor district, so let's go in that direction. Oh, enemies respawned. But it looks there's three over here instead of just one and a dog. There's four dogs over here. Don't know if I like that. Alright, let's quick save. Easy experience, I guess. Uh put him up here. Put him up here, and Martin, you come over here. Something like that. We'll figure it out. Alright, so I do need him to use his Venom Sting. So let's move him down here. Then we'll go ahead and stomach punch this guy as well. Then I'm going to move him back. So he doesn't get surrounded. And turn and face this way. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> so, someone in the beastie area would give me some insight into like what the enemies do in combat because as it stands right now it seems random which isn't great because we have a we have a class here that's inherently less tanky than other classes so I need to know if there's a way to manipulate enemies or know what their movement's going to be, or like what their priority is going to be in combat. It doesn't look like the game's going to give me that. Did I give him a new? Oh no, he's using that other thing. All right, so let's do it this way. Hit him with a rock. Whoops. There we go. Hit him with a rock, then a throw knife. Like so, and his turn. Could have probably moved him around, but that's fine. 
That costs one, this costs two, so we can stomach punch him. Then finish him off with a catalyzing strike, most likely. Awesome. Then I'm probably gonna move him forward. No. This way he can only get attacked by one enemy instead of two. I probably need to heal my main character here. Alright, so let's snipe this guy. So we probably take him out with the Catalyzing Strike next turn. I guess hit him with a rock. This is the other one that doesn't have any humors on him. What I'll probably do is move him all the way around this tree here. Alright, so I don't know if I have mastered Venom Sting. I assume that I did. I'm gonna use it again anyway just to be safe. And then vitriol. Try and keep him alive, and I can do a stomach punch. My right, catalyzing strike is not going to finish this guy off because he doesn't have any red. But a stomach punch will fix that. And catalyzing strike, big damage, but not enough to kill him. That's okay. So it does look like they can't attack up two levels. They can only, they can attack up uh, one one elevation uh, level. Let's have Martin come over here and finish this dog off. The catalyzing strike. Go ahead and snipe this guy. Ooh, nice crit. 27 damage. And what I'll probably do is just come down here and take out this guy. Alright, catalyzing strike. Not a huge fan of allies blocking movement, but nothing I can do about it. Send him a throwing knife. So the next turn, we should be able to finish him off with a uh, catalyzing strike. At least I hope so. Alright, snipe him. And move him behind, and we should be able to finish him off with a backstab. Perfect. Alright, so he did master Venom Sting, so I'm going to change his class probably to this one, to the Lands... Lansnecht? Gives him Leg Sweep. Employ a long weapon to sweep the target to the ground, reducing their mobility. Deals damage to the target. Apply stacks of Negrito on the target. Then reduces target's uh, movement. Then we'll put Stomach Punch, First Aid, Rock Throw. And that's it. Works for me. I want that Strength Growth. Got some Vitriol. Some more Vitriol. Oh. And some vermilion. Alright, let's put some vitriol in our quick slots, then here, throwing dagger. Did he master that yet? Not yet. Close though. That gives him venom sting. Or is that kidney shot? 
He has kidney shot. He has to be a mercenary for a venom sting, I think. Or a rogue. He's a rogue. What teaches venom sting then? Oh, a regular knife. So I don't know if it's worth it going back through and clearing out all the uh all the mobs. I mean we get more experience, but I don't know if there's gonna be a max level or not. So I don't know how optimized my stat growth has to be. Uh, let's try out this new class, I guess. It's only three of them, so it can't be that bad. We'll actually put him over here. And him right there. Alright, so let's do... Kidney Shot. And, I guess, a Throwing Dagger. We might be able to finish him off, or I guess her off, next attack. Well, not with him. So let's do Leg Sweep. And then Stomach Punch. So we should be able to trigger both stacks of the Negrito and the Rubito. But not with him. Out of range. I can do catalyzing shot too. How are they out of range? I guess you can't shoot through your buddies. Well, that was a waste of a turn. Move. Well, you don't need to move. Just catalyzing strike right here. Nice. Then stomach punch this guy. What we'll do is we'll move you over here. And then any turn and face in this direction so they can't get a backstab on you. Alright, end your turn. Then you move behind here, and I guess we'll get a kidney shot in. A rock throw on this guy. Good, end of your turn. You move behind here, and we can probably finish him off. Well, how much does it cost? Catalyzing Strike costs two. So we do a Leg Sweep, but I also cost two. So let's do a Stomach Punch and then a Catalyzing Strike on this guy. Might have to take him out, but 41 damage. Something to shake a stick at. Look what you can do wield a range weapon and a melee weapon. Alright, we'll move to the side. Stomach punch and a rock throw. I should rock throw this guy instead. Backstab was enough to kill him. Awesome. So I'm not actually a big fan of the the range class. It's really lacking in damage right now. Hi, Vermillion and Jennifer. Uh, can I even loot this? Throwing dagger. I don't know if I can get up here without being in combat. All right, I can. You have to interact. You have to press E to climb up it. Uh, hand Axe and Jennifer. Uh, let's see if we mastered any more abilities. Why is everything new to use anyway? So he needs a knife. Let's go and give him a knife for... Oh, he doesn't have it. Yeah, there it is. For pocket sand. 
And Martin's still learning kidney shot. Cool. All right. So we need to make our way to the Harbor District. If I see any enemies on the way, I'll pick a fight with them. But only if they're in my actual path. So they keep spawning anytime you leave and come back. It's not going to be worth picking a fight with them every time I uh, run across more enemies. He's super time consuming. Right, There's a couple of enemies here. Let's quick save. Oh. <laughs> okay. So he put his own... Okay, so they're putting their own red humor on him. That makes this a lot easier. <laughs> oh, okay. Can, can my spear guy attack at a diagonal as well? I'm not a huge fan of that counterattack. Let's keep him in the fight. Don't want Martin to go down. Actually, I should probably pull him back. So he's not surrounded like that. Then we can do here is move him over here. Uh, I want to use Leg Sweep, but Catalyzing Strike is also... I'm going to Leg Sweep this guy, I think. And then use him for the Catalyzing Strike on that guy. So I want to master this ability. And then Stomach Punch him as well. Go ahead and hold our ground. Hit him with Snipe, then that puts two stacks of Negrito on him. He already has two stacks of Rubito from himself, so that works out. Then have him come over here and hopefully kill this guy. With Catalyzing Strike. A lot of damage, but not enough to kill. Stomach Punch might do it. Not quite. I'm just going to take him out. Well, that's enemy to deal with, so... No reason not to do that. Let's move over here. Good snipe of this guy. Catalyzing Strike, this guy. Then Kenny shot him. Then get him out of the way so we get another backstab on him. I want to take this guy out next. Let's go over here and use Leg Sweep on him. Also treat it as a backstab and then Stomach Punch him. That should be enough to kill him. And then Aeneas should have enough damage to take him out. Well, maybe not. He didn't last time. I think I'm overestimating the uh, Catalyzing Strike's damage. Uh, nope, that was enough. 72 damage. Holy crap. Balancing Pellets, Throwing Dagger, and Vitriol. Vermilion. Jennifer. Cool. Let's heal up Aeneas a bit. Make sure he stays in the fight. Let's see. Still learning leg sweep. I didn't even use pocket sand. Next fight, I'm going to have him try and use more pocket sand to master that. Uh, Martin mastered kidney shot, so let's move him to venom sting. Oh no, we don't have the knife available right now. 
Let's change that. Or we can just change his class. So no one has the rapier equipped. So let's actually change him to the duelist. So he has the rapier and the ring dagger. So he has head attack. Slash the forehead to cause blood flowing into the eyes to reduce visibility. Deals damage to the target. Applies tax to Rubido on the target. Inflicts the blinded status effect, which reduces marksmanship. And then he gets swift kick. Perform a quick kick to the enemy's lower regions, inflicting trauma. Deals damage to the target. Applies tax of Albedo on the target. That will do as we'll also get. Uh, where's it at? He learns stomach punch with a steel rapier as a mercenary. Let's get proficiency. Why can't I equip that? Oh, I have to be on the passive slot, that's why. Oh no, sorry, passives can't cross class, that's right. Well, let's grab kidney shot and his first aid and rock throw. Vitriol and a throwing dagger. All right, cool. Making progress. I would like to find... Let's get some... Oh, yeah, I've already read that description for the other will. Seems like there's nearly as much loot in this section already. In this district. There's a light on right here. Can't knock on that door, though. Wait, was there another path up here? It just takes us back down here. Yeah, it takes us to the same place. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna call it here. Next episode, we'll pick a fight with these guys in the dock itself, and proceed through the Harbor District, knock out that side quest, and I guess the main quest, since we're here. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.